Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a little bit of a different video first. Don't mind my Smurf pajamas. Um, most of you guys know that I do have a home office where I pack diamond painting orders. So um, there you go. Uh, this is a pack with me where I pack up a stack of orders that I have and I thought this would be a good time to add in this voiceover to discuss a lot of updates that um, I thought were super important because I haven't had a chance to film a diamond paint with me. I said that this would be a good way to do it. Um, so in the video I'm very careful not to show anybody's address or anything like that. You just see me putting the orders in the boxes with the um, packing slips and everything. So that being said, um, I wanted to first break the news that I am going to have to stop shipping to Canada. Um, this decision took me two weeks to deliberate. And as time went on, I kept getting more and more orders from Canada and I just couldn't do it anymore. Um, I had an incident not too long ago this is the very first time this has ever happened where the customer purchased a large amount of diamond paintings from me it was about 200 dollars worth of diamond paintings and when the order got to um canadian customs they were gonna charge him another 60 dollars for customs import fees um i did what i could contacting them to see you know what the deal was and they just said that it needed to be paid and it was the customer's responsibility so i didn't know what to do because it was quite a bit of money and during this whole entire time that we were deliberating the customer and i um ups ended up well i don't know who does it on their end but the package had originally gone via ups and um the they ended up delivering the package to their home without the bill so they said that when they were go online to check it it just says delivered and there's no customs fees due at that point so they were just thankful for that um and then not only that but i don't know what's going on with shipping i'm shipping in the u.s and shipping to inter international shipping has sky rocketed uh before i used to pay about anywhere between 15 and 25 dollars to ship an international order uh to canada to ireland this was for up to up to two paintings any more than that and the price increased but up to two paintings it was between 15 and 25 dollars and i felt like it was doable so i priced my international shipping at 18.50 because it definitely covered the cost of the boxes the cost of you know the tape the shipping labels um and then the shipping itself and within the past three months the prices have absolutely been astounding now it costs me anywhere between 30 and 60 dollars to ship an international order um you guys know several months back i stopped shipping to most countries except for america U the united states and canada well now the canadian orders are now taking anywhere between 35 30 dollars and 60 dollars to ship and i did not increase my international shipping fee it was still charging 18 dollars and 50 cents so you know i come back having to pay sometimes 50 dollars which is most of what they the lowest ever saw was 35 30 35 dollars and the highest was about 60 dollars um you know on average i'm paying about 50 dollars to ship and the customer themselves has only paid um 18 dollars and 50 cents and i have to come up with the other you know 20 30 dollars to ship the order and it cuts into our profit margin and that doesn't even cover um, the cost of the box and everything else that goes into shipping it and then with the incident I had where they imported or put customs fees onto um, one of my customers orders it just further pushed me back from wanting to ship to Canada so from here on out um, until further notice it's something that I am keeping an eye on I am monitoring shipping rates I ship every single day so it is something that I do have my eye on um, I'm not gonna be shipping to Canada and so now I am only shipping in the U.S. only. Uh, that being said, even my United States shipping costs have increased. So with that being said, this video that you're seeing, I should have 
pointed the video a little bit higher because of the size of the boxes um some of the larger boxes i noticed that you can't see exactly what i'm putting in the box but sorry about that if you guys like these videos maybe i'll keep doing them um and it'll give me a better idea of how to put the angle next time but um united states shipping i had my shipping set on 11 dollars. it's been 11 dollars for a very long time and um yeah, shipping is not $11 in the United States. Um, I feel like if I go any higher than that, I actually did increase it. I increased it by $1 um, because these boxes you guys see cost me at minimum $1.50 um, for just the box. And that that's no other costs in, you know, associated with it. It's not the cost of the invoice, which I include in my shipping cost, cost of the shipping label, the cost of the tape. That all gets put into my shipping cost. So I increased it to $12, um, but I have unless it's to texas um shipping still running in the ten dollar range um and texas is right next door to me so it's definitely been hard with these shipping increases i don't know why they've increased so much not only that but the usps shipping has increased so much that most of my packages lately have been going out ups because they've been significantly cheaper than shipping USPS, which sucks because I want to support UPS, but at their, or I want to support USPS, which is the United States Postal Service. But the way that their prices currently are, I just cannot ship it. So this video that you guys are seeing, I've decided to make a change. This is the last time that single item diamond painting orders are going to go in a box. So for this, I'm measuring this box because this box is actually too large for most of my orders. So I was taking the dimensions so that I could order a box slightly smaller. That's why I pulled out the yardstick. I think I pulled it out again, um, too. So anyway, um, this is the last time that single item diamond painting orders are going to be shipped in a box. If you order one diamond painting, your diamond painting will no longer be shipped in a box. Um, not only have uh, shipping prices increased, but so has the cost of these boxes. I used to pay a dollar for these boxes, then it went up to a dollar fifty, and I didn't increase my shipping prices. Now I'm paying about two dollars on average for each of these boxes, which is a lot. So shipping um, on average is about thirteen dollars within the United States, and you guys are still paying. You were still paying eleven dollars. I'm paying thirteen dollars just to have the item shipped again. That doesn't include the cost of the box or any other fees associated with packing a um order. And you guys can see in some of these orders, I'm putting um uh shipping paper on the inside. Be if it's only one box and the boxes and they're loose, some of the diamond paintings fit. Like this one fits. Um, better than some of the others but if it's goes in and there's still wiggle room I will put in a shipping paper in there just so it doesn't jostle around too much that costs money all of it costs money and anything that doesn't get charged to the customer comes out of profit um not only that but I think we all know that the cost of tariffs have also gone up in the last couple of years due to Trump um that's something you know, I, I hate to get into politics, but that's also fees that I have eaten up on my end. So for the past six months, mm, yeah, I would say five months at least, um, Missilodemeter has not been profitable at all. I don't have any intentions on stopping the company or um, pulling back or anything, but you guys have noticed that imports, not imports, but new images coming to the shop have been slower that's due to the cost of shipping has increased significantly it's taken me longer to pay for orders um on my end like my bulk orders when i get new canvases in because shipping costs have gone up by about a third of the cost that i used to pay which is quite a bit you know when i'm paying four or five hundred dollars just to ship a group of diamond paintings it's quite a bit of money and you know one of the ways that I can cut costs is to ship the single item diamond paintings. I will be wrapping them in bubble wrap and then wrapping them in shipping paper and sending them on their way like that. It's something that I don't particularly like, but in order to protect them a little bit extra, I've decided to wrap them in the bubble wrap, which is something a lot of can, um, Chinese manufacturers will ship their diamond paintings this way and they'll wrap it in this weird like trash bag material. And it doesn't really allow for any type of protection. Um, 
just from being jostled around and being smashed and stuff, which is why I've decided to do the, the bubble wrap first. Um, I feel like it just gives it that tiny little bit of protection. And then coming into the summer months, I feel like it's a little bit safer. I know we still have to worry about rain. Um, but really, if your box is going to get stuck in a rainstorm, even a cardboard box probably isn't going to protect it. Um, but I, the, the where we're at right now with Mystical Diamond Art is that the company obviously has gotten larger. We're getting to a point now where... I can keep about 50% of the paintings in stock, which is amazing. Um, obviously, I'd like to be at 100%, but, you know, um, in due time. But with that, it's it can be labor intensive, and there's a lot of little details that go into it. And it's almost to a point where I'd be running Mystical Diamond Art essentially for free. Um, you know, I just... It's sounds great <laughs> but ultimately you know if you want to build a successful business you have to also be making money at the same time with as much time as I put into it so with that being said the clip here totally cut me off because I ran out of time well the video ended so anyway I hope that this wasn't too rushed and that you guys fully understand my decision on keeping um the shipping within the United States until further notice. It is something that I do check on about every other week. So when things change, I will definitely update you guys again. If you have any questions, please, please, please just comment below. I'm happy to always answer any questions that you guys have. And I want to thank everybody who has been a Mystical Diamond Art supporter.